We're going to do a quick little demo of the Raspberry Pi 4 booting into Base OS. Uh, this is the first reboot after the initial uh, setup of the device, so we'll be booting directly to desktop interface with all the config set up and apps set up, etc. So we get the boot animation, it'll loop a little bit, and then the display will go to graphics setup and system UI will start. There's the display doing its thing. And then system UI will start. So we boot to lock screen here. Spacebar will open right up to it. And then we have a taskbar in this interface with a nice little mouse. A standard smart dock is what's being used for our desktop interface. We have a terminal included. We're using Termux. Uh, we also have a root included using kernel SU in this as well. And there we go. Install NeoFetch. And then we'll launch it. And as you can see, we're running on the Android. 14 Arch 64. So, like I mentioned, we do have kernel SU. So when that launches, you can go to here, set super user rights for any of the apps you want. Uh, we're going to want root on a terminal, of course, and then XT Mapper for on-screen overlays for some games that don't support keyboard and mouse. Um, go ahead and exit out of here. We have Firefox included. Uh, we have MicroG uh, settings included from Calyx OS. Uh, we have Aura Store also from there. So we can grant those permissions. We can enable these. And then using Aurora Store, we also have the ability to log into Google anonymously and not use our actual Gmail. This will access all the Google apps. Not all of them will work, but most of them will. Telegram is a good example of one that does work. Just show you how it installs here real quick. And then once it's installed, we get to open it. But we're not going to do that now. Too much to show off. So, smart dock, uh, standard setting here. Uh, you can use the taskbar at the bottom. It's automatically pinned on boot, but you can unpin it. And that hides it down to a little handle off to the side here, where you can show it again. We'll do that again. Now this is the standard uh, three button layout for Launcher 3 in case you have apps that you need to control with that or we can open all of our apps using freeform mode while launching them through Smart Dock. And as you can see we're on Raspberry Pi 4 here. 
There's our fancy serial number for the 400. We have device info, Android version. And there you go. This is also including uh, Neo Store, which is a open source app store. We'll go through the setting this up. And once you're in here, we have an ultimate option of repositories on this tab down here. So only Izzy, F-Droid, and Guardian Project are enabled by default, but there is a ton of other repo options that you can enable. So once you've enabled your repo options, we'll do Calyx for an example. I could have sworn I saw it in there. Oh, that's a good one too. Unofficial Firefox. Cola Bear Office. And Calyx. And then we'll come over here and hit the sync button to sync all those repos and you can see it pop up here that they're starting to come all in so we can install LibreOffice from here I think it's downloading There we go. As you can see, it's pretty functional to resize windows. You just hold outside and you can see the arrow there. And then once you let go, the uh, app will snap back into its uh, target interface or layout and then you're all good there that works for most apps it does come with Firefox and as one of the installed pre-installed applications so you could always use that to browse the web I'll choose dark theme put it on top and then there's your typical browsing type And uh, that's a demo for today.